uh, last weekend here, so we came to DC walking around. But we got our birds stolen. We don't have transportation anymore. Sure, Paul. On the horses, you're betting on the horse with the horse's money. Do you want? What are you at? Do you want oh, 17 wow. minutes? It'll take him 17 oh, minutes yeah. to record the. Oh course. god, yeah. I didn't put enough. I have not enough minutes, dude. <laughs> Thing sounds amazing. All right, so it's eight. It's eight clicks. If you're over, you're you're out, right? If you're over, you're out, or if you're under, you're out. I'm gonna say under, you're out. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> over, out, or under, you're out. No. Okay. Wait, let's. I'm the one who gets to decide this. You guys lost money in is this. He, is he finished? Yeah. How about, yeah, how about let's let. Wait a second. Jared we don't choose. know what the time. Right. Over, is, yeah. over, you're out, or under, you're out. Over, you're out, because if you're over, you over, you. Underestimated. Oh, God, that yet. Just whoever's the, clo the closest. All right, that's closest fine. in time. Yeah. Closest yeah. in in number. Yeah, that's fine. Closest in number. Yeah. The horse won his own. Money. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's fucked up. Always fucking bet on yourself, boys. Oh! In that's the like time a, was twenty minutes and twenty six seconds. I that's won like a game. And I was, I was. Yeah, it's for the it's for the song. It's not for you know. It's not for the like, real. I like do it for for art. No, yeah, I don't do it for money. Yeah. I do it for art. Yeah. This whole project has been one. Big sort of identity crisis because we don't really know what people expect or what people want to hear at this point. But it was imperative that we didn't repeat ourselves and and sort of step in the same footprints that we've already made. And I feel like if nothing else, we can be proud of the idea that we haven't duplicated anything and. Uh, not th not to say that it's a brand new band because I, f I feel like people will recognize us in the songs just because that's where, where, where it's coming from. It's coming from us. It's coming from the dynamic of all five of us. And, um, I think that people will hopefully be surprised, uh, it, whether it's pleasantly or or not. I I don't know. Um, but for us, we have been very excited and very pleased with the way that we've delivered on on sort of the big bullet points of, of not being subtle, being urgent, and uh, just stepping outside of our comfort zone. And I feel like it's another just giant learning process. Um, working with Matt has been seamless. It's been insane. Like. I can't really re remember how I felt making the first record because it was all foreign and it was brand new. Um, and so we were just sort of wide-eyed and, 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 and willing to do whatever. And, and having 10 years in between working together, we've both developed our own uh, 
skill sets and developed our own approaches that much more and I feel like it, it's just been bizarre how seamless it's been. Um, it's almost as if no time has passed and we picked up right where we left off. And so it's 10 years later. It's, uh, it's an amazing honor to be back working with this incredible band. Um, you know, when we did Can't Stop, Won't Stop, it was this immediate chemistry that we had working with each other. And I felt at that time, this is like a really like charmed group. And you know, the experience was really amazing. It was, it was really connected. Uh, I felt like on that record, I was able to push to get the best out of them. And I really felt like they stepped up. Um, so it's wild to be back working with them again 10 years later. Um, and it's crazy. In some ways, it hasn't changed at all. Uh, these guys have stayed really true to who they are. They've stayed really humble. And, you know, that is to their credit. It's, it's pretty amazing um, to keep that center and, and stay grounded. So in terms of our working relationship, that's been really similar. That chemistry is still there and that sort of ability for them to, to trust me to push them and my ability to push to get the best out of them, that's very similar um, to what it was. What, what has changed is I think we've all learned a lot uh, about making music since then and really about taking risks and I think that's one of the themes of, of this new record is what kind of risks are are, are, are going to be fun to take. What kind of risks do their fans want them to take? Um, what kind of risks will actually pay off and actually feel like growth for the band? Um, and it's just been a blast to be part of that process. Okay. Um, you gotta go a little right. You guys merging? Uh, uh, okay, okay, you break, <laughs> break, break, break. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> um, this record in particular, it always has felt making an album that it's always like out of reach. Like um, the the big thought or the big idea. Um, and I feel like each record you get closer. And I feel like this is the first time when we actually did it in a weird way. And I'm sure we say things like that all the time, but this in particular, it's just so, ambitious and a big thought that it seemed impossible to do and now sitting and listening to it I think we did it <laughs> did the the goal um, and it's really rewarding rewarding and I'm excited I'm excited for people to hear it and I'm excited to play it and figure out how to play it and yeah uh, it is what it is. I think there's always been this this level of uh, self-consciousness on the band on what we do and how we make music. And sometimes I think we we shy away from doing certain things um, and putting certain I guess characteristics into our music. And I feel like this this time was a kind of a um, it felt like. It felt like the early on parts of our band. It felt like the ambition and like our execution of it met the ambition. <laughs> Tell me a story. Tell me a story. Tell me a story. <laughs> this is awesome. Dude, you gotta do this. Oh, hey, hey, hey! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, dude! I feel like we have been building up to this for a long time, and 
we were so happy with the last two records and I think the the past two albums have been the first time where we've at the end of the album when after we've played all the shows and toured all around the world with it that we've just been like that's a great record still so then now the trick is all right so we're we're happy with what we do what we're doing but how can we not just get comfortable in that how can we take it to a whole different level that feels exciting for us and feels like we're pushing ourselves as artists and as a band and making something that we feel like the people that make this all possible connect with and that that is what we've done you know we've we've made a record that expands upon what we've done and then goes into these new areas that we've been afraid to touch you know and I think we've we've gotten rid of a lot of the fear that we've had which has made us make better music I think in the past we, we've always had these preconceived ideas of what the main would have to be like or anything I think we just let go of that and hey what are things we like and how can we bring that out in 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 the music and just hope that people like it you know um, and we, we feel so comfortable now with the relationship that we've built with all of you guys that, you know, we, we, we don't want to let you down. And I think to let you down would be to make a record that was safe and that was boring. And I think we've done the absolute opposite of that. And, you know, this thing is, this thing's a wild ride. You know, it uh, has lots of ups and downs and we pushed ourselves and felt uncomfortable and then fell in love with what we've created and I just can't wait for people to hear it and experience the entire thing and I just I just love it so for me this is probably the most exciting part of the record because my job is essentially done and I get to just trust John which I do every time we get to this kind of like last quarter of the game and usually I'm extremely happy with what he comes up with and, and it for me just being a spectator now is the most exciting part I think because I feel like I put in the work and I did as much as I could to make the record good and now it's up to him to kind of bring it all together but you don't need them if you don't want I got the vibe. Yes, you do. Oh, compression. Push them out for me. What's up, bro? What's going down? I've got to put, a, I've got to put, a, I've got to put the voice on it. Day one of vocals has just come to an end. Uh, you could hear a little of the hoarseness in my voice. I'm a baby horse. Um, the whole record has been ambitious and I feel like the vocals and the lyrics really need to match the ambition that we put forth with the instrumentation and the arrangement and just the songwriting in general. Um, it's odd because I I said on Lovely Little Lonely that I wasn't going to get to this point again when I, I just had melody, but I ended up doing the exact same thing. And I think that part of me just felt um, confident in the idea that I was happy with the way that Lovely Little Lonely turned out. and. A little bit of stress and uh, a hard deadline really make for, I feel like, the best product that I can turn out myself. Um, so one is in the books, the nine to go. Um, it's, it's definitely there's a lot of ground to cover still and not that many days to do it in. So we revised the schedule a little bit. And 
I'm gonna have to pop back out here after Thanksgiving, but it's all for the, the sake of a completed thought um, and just seeing the whole process through and not just a part of it and, and coming up short at the, the finish line. So I'm confident, I'm excited, I'm nervous, but I feel like it's, uh, it's off to a good start and we opened, uh, the first song we did was the, the opening track and it's, uh, it'll definitely be a roller coaster for people, so I'm really excited for people to hear it and anxious to hear what people have to say about it, um, but really proud of it so far, so. Cool.